Are you ready to witness the hottest, the most heartbreaking, and the happiest moments in the roller coaster relationship of Otis and Maeve? How about taking a trip down memory lane with Eric and Adam? And what about the hot and steamy Dr. Milburn Flynn? If you are, then just keep on watching, because here are the sex education most iconic couple moments from all seasons. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 10. Maeve wears Otis's shirt. Oh, come on, Otis, you had to ruin it, didn't you? As you all may remember, this scene is from season one, back when Otis had a huge crush on Maeve, but was afraid to admit his true feelings for her. And this is the scene where we thought he would finally admit it. Well, he admitted something, but it wasn't even remotely close to what we wanted him to say. Oh, the setting was perfect. They were alone, Maeve was cold, and being the gentleman he is, he offered her his sweater. Maeve put it on, Otis helped tuck the sleeves in, and just as they got closer and closer, they looked into each other's eyes, and then down at the lips, and Otis had to open his big trap, and he admitted he was still a virgin. Well, that's more than enough to kill any mood. So, unsurprisingly, Maeve ran away as fast as she could. I'm a virgin. What? I... I'm a virgin, and I, I thought you should know, so I am. Yeah, that's really cool. Number nine, Eric and Adam. Okay, not in a million years did we think that Eric and Adam would end up together. Like, who is so psychic to predict that Adam was actually bi? He was the bully, the macho guy, the son of the school principal, and the guy that tormented Eric for a long, long time. But it turns out, all of those big bullies are just broken human beings that show their pain by treating others like they were treated at home or in school. This was perfectly illustrated in the scene where Adam pinned Eric down and Eric spat in his face. When we thought Adam would beat the crap out of him, he just returned the favor and just asked, did that feel good? At this moment, we realized that he was just being tormented by his overly demanding father and felt trapped. This scene was not only liberating, but it was also showing us a side of Adam we never knew existed. Number eight, the JJ fling. Okay, this has got to be the funniest, but also one of the hottest scenes throughout the entire show. Dr. Milburn might know a lot about sex and how the human body reproduces, but she is just as powerless to attraction as the rest of us. That's clearly evident from the scene where she smashed that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. <laughs> But no, in all seriousness, it was evident from the scene in which she wants to jump the plumber's bones. Oh, she was good at explaining how compatible pheromones and high enough levels of androsterone help her to... Oh, just shut up and kiss him already. There you go. Number seven, Otis and Ola. While trying to get over Maeve, Otis got into a relationship with Ola. They were good together, and it was at this time that Otis started to play with himself. Now, before this, Ola wanted to have sex with him, so she came out and said it. Otis agreed, and they started to kiss. Things were getting hot and steamy, and Ola started to take off his clothes, and Otis stopped her. You see, there was a misunderstanding. He thought that she meant they would do it some other time. And the best part about this scene was when Ola was so understanding that she said she would be willing to wait. Otis was probably not expecting the wait to be just one day. Number six, the double couple. This was a double date, which means there were two couples, which means it was twice the fun. Otis and Ruby were double dating Eric and Adam, and even though they were off to a rough start, things ended up surprisingly smooth in the end. And it was all thanks to one guy, Adam. We don't even know how that's possible. He started off with a really awkward question about farts, and then gave Otis some great advice about him and Ola, while also astonishing everyone, <laughs> including yours truly, when he said that he watches the Kardashians. And that was the turning point of the entire awkward night. They were bowling, kissing, and probably had the best night of their lives. Number five, Eric and his dad. Now, th that sounded weird, very weird, but it's not that. Well, it is that, but it's not dirty, and this is, ugh, breathe, okay. Let us explain. You see, we know that Eric and his dad haven't had the smoothest relationship, mostly due to his patriarchal and traditional upbringing, which didn't make him particularly fond of Eric's life choices. But people change, right? Well, so did Eric's dad. He was conditioned by society to think, act, and be just like everyone else, to fit in and never challenge the status quo. Well, when his son Eric turned all of that on its head, and what you see is a father desperately trying to save his son from getting hurt. But as Eric said, 
I'm gonna get hurt anyways. And even though these two are not a couple, it's one of the most important moments in the show. That's because it features a dad trying to protect his son by projecting his fears onto him. But it ended up with Eric projecting his courage onto his dad, and actually helping his dad grow. I don't want you to be hurt. <laughs> no, I'll be hurt either way. Isn't it better to be who I am? Number four, Otis repaired this couple's relationship. Now, because the entire show was based on Otis's newly found ability to help high school students with sex questions, we had to include this one on our list, and our main man managed to repair a relationship just before they broke up. He pinned them together and asked them to name things they love about each other, and then name stuff they like about themselves. The other girl obviously had low self-esteem, and she subconsciously thought that she was unworthy of love. Well, when Otis pointed that out and her boyfriend listed all the things he loves about her, they started Frenching like they were born under the Eiffel Tower. Number three, Maeve and Otis kiss. And of course, how could we not include the couple we've been rooting for since the start of the show? She was the pessimist, she didn't want anyone, and we thought that she would never go for a guy like Otis. But our dude pulled through and managed to make her fall in love with him. But in the middle, Otis felt confused and sad that he couldn't have Maeve, so we wound up in all these loveless relationships. But when Maeve discovered he had sent her a voicemail that got deleted, and Otis told her what he said, we finally got what we were waiting for. Number two, Maeve told Otis how she really feels. This is sort of a regression, but we're going to go from the kiss to a while back when Maeve got pissed off at Otis for losing the kid. And in that fit of rage, she barraged him with insults. But then Maeve finally collected her thoughts, told Otis that she made a mistake about him. We finally heard what we thought all along, but we weren't happy. We weren't happy because we knew Otis was in a relationship, and losing that because Maeve was afraid to show her true feelings at the right time proved to Otis that he couldn't trust her. I have a girlfriend. I... I made myself get over you, Maeve, and now everything's fine. Everything's normal. Everything's great. Number one. Otis waits for Maeve at the abortion clinic. And finally, we have the most heartwarming scene from the entire season. It's the scene that started it all. It's the scene that got Maeve thinking about Otis, and made him look like a guy who will do anything to take care of the girl he loves. He couldn't say all of this at that point, but him spending hours in the clinic's waiting room while Maeve had the abortion and bringing her flowers made Maeve realize that someone truly does care about her, and it's not just about the sex with him. The tables were turned, and from this moment on, we knew that it was only a matter of time before they fell for each other. Hi. You waited? Of course. On a related note, would you ever forgive someone who had betrayed your trust? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.